today I thought I would do a baby girl haul because I haven't done a haul in ages. You may hear Lucas playing in the background, but that is probably what all my videos are going to consist of now. But hopefully it won't be too loud. He just heard that I'm filming, so now what's to join in? You're going to shout cheese. So I've been shopping in John Lewis because I was lucky enough to win a voucher for £100, which is incredible. And I used that very wisely. And I also went to a mother care baby, like parent expectant event the other day and bought two items with 10% off. And I just thought I'd show you sort of what we'd got. Um, just because I haven't done a baby girl haul yet and I don't want to like forget about certain items. So the first item is this jelly cat bunny. Um, I always wanted a jelly cat animal for Lucas, but at the time we had so, so much to buy um, being our first child that we sort of went more mad on clothes which now you look back you go you don't need we did not need as many clothes as what we had for Lucas so we're being a little bit more sensible this time around but I couldn't really justify spending the £16 again this time on one just because £16 for a teddy for me is quite extortionate but I do I do think they are worth it they're so soft and they're so wearing but when we obviously got the voucher I thought it was a perfect time to buy this bunny so we got the one, we got the cream one with the like floral ears because I really want to do a lot of floral for her. Um, and it's also got floral on the, on the feet as well. And Lucas absolutely loves this. He yells pepper at it. But um, I managed to find randomly someone was selling a brand new um, different coloured one on a face bay sort of site. Um, and I picked up for five pounds. She delivered it to the house. So Lucas now has his own jelly cat bunny, and so does Iris. So that's really cute that they both got one. But I really do love this little bunny. I think it's so soft. I want one. So the next items I'm going to show you are clothing items. Um, when we first purchased these, they were full price, um, and they were twelve pounds. But after ringing up John Lewis, because the day they were delivered, they went into the sale and they refunded the money, the, the difference, so they're actually, I don't know if they're still in stock now, but they are now £8, and there are these three um, sleep suits, they are long sleeved sleep suits, and they've just got the blue floral, the pink floral, and the, like, a lilac -y purple, um, I think they're really, really cute and really subtle, and they are so, so soft, like, I've taken, I have opened the bag to fill them, and they're so soft. And I think even at £12, that was a bargain, considering that Next is roughly the same price. If not, I think sometimes Next items are like £16 for three sleep seats. And John Lewis quality, you cannot knock John Lewis quality. It's a little bit more on the pricier side, but everything is so, like, wearing and lovely. So, yeah, I'll pick these up when they were £8 in the sale, and I just can't wait to see her. And we picked them up in a zero to three months size, I think. Yeah, zero to three months, so they won't, like, be worn for the first like month or two but they, they will last longer than buying a newborn size next ones are the same but they are three long sleeved body suits instead so they've got the blue the pink and the lilac again and they were originally eight pounds but they were actually five pounds in the sale so once um john lewis had refunded the four pounds they put it onto my online account um because obviously I'd purchased stuff online and they didn't put it back onto the gift card they put it back onto the online account so I paid the extra pound and got these sleeps, um, these body suits so I think they're really cute I also bought those I think in zero to three months as well so she can wear them under like her wintry sort of clothing but I just I love the pattern it's so like classic and beautiful and then it'll embroidery around the, yeah, the collar like, like it's just it's really exciting to be buying like like floral items this time opposed to blue item we got obviously iris being born in winter means that she needs a lot of wintry things so we purchased this it's a pink um pram suit i didn't need the waterproof one with lucas we bought a waterproof one because he was like six to nine months like when it came to all like winter time so whereas obviously she's going to be a newborn um, and no, no older than three months so we got this it's a really cute pink um, color it's sort of quilted as such but it's got a little bird and a little pocket here and then inside if I unpop it it's got this sort of 
bluey lilac-y sort of colour print but it's really thick really soft and it's such a good quality and up here it's got these cute little ears which I love little girls and little boys like babies and ear with ears on their clothes so that was £20 which um, I would say is more on a pricier side but it's also not because if you bought one in Next you'd probably be paying 20 and if you bought one in Sainsbury's or something you'd probably pay 15 so I can't knock John Lewis's prices for this but I do just think it's so cute and we got it in 0 to 3 months because I didn't want to get it any smaller but I also didn't want to get it any bigger because although she'll be born September, end of September, October-ish if she's anything like Lucas she'll be end of September, if she comes on due date she'll be end of October so we've obviously got that bracket but obviously if she comes early she'll be smaller but I'm thinking that she, this will probably fit her up until about January or February because these are always bigger than the sizes anyway. They always look massive. They're very giving. So that's, yeah, so that's really cute. So that's what I think. The next stuff I'm going to show you is bedding wise. Um, the John Lewis stuff I will just finish off by showing you. So we thought we'd spend a little bit extra considering it was on a voucher. And we got these two fitted cot bed sheets. Um, they're 100% cotton, um, I've opened these as well to fill and they're just so so soft but um, currently if you can see behind me she has just like plain pink ones which I picked up in Home Bargains I think for £3 so two of them um, just because obviously she's not going to be using the cot until probably April, March time um, but I still wanted some nice sheets for when she does come in so she's got this one is like white with pink polka dots and this one is white with little blue tri like t like mint sort of like a minty greeny bluey colour triangles with little flowers dotted around. So I think I'll just make her little section of the room because only most things are quite boyish. This little section just really cute and florally and just girly as well. Sort of break it up a little bit. But they're so cute and I really enjoy pattern sheets, we bought pattern sheets for Lucas as well from Mother Care but um, I couldn't find any in there I liked this time around so when I saw these and I had the voucher, just love the pattern, so cute. Last item from John Lewis is this um, Calf Kidston pram blanket, this was reduced from £15 down to £10, um, this was actually before their sales started as well and it's just, um, I think it's a, like it's, well, it's a pram blanket so it's not huge but if I get it out of the packet, it's got a, it's really soft, I've already taken it out, i just put it back in again. It's got like a flannel, oh, it's got a flannel effect on this side, it's got like a rose sort of print. I really love in the rose print for her. And it's got calf kids sewn on there, but it's just really nice. I wanted something that was nice to go in her cot. Um, we're getting a knitted blanket made for her pram. And then I'll show you what else what we've got for her snuzz pod in a minute. But yeah, I just love the pattern on it. I think it look really cute laying on her cot here. So at a mother care event, we were entitled to 10% off because we'd gone to the event. So I thought it was perfect time to pick up a couple of things that I'd been looking at um, but hadn't bought yet. So the first thing we got was this I wanted we've got still got a change amount for for like from when we had Lucas and that was sort of a I think that was 30 pounds and it because it was a bit of a it's got like an arch of toys hanging off and things um, but I wanted something to go underneath the snuzz pod for the nights that Lucas is obviously in bed and I need to change her but don't fancy a poo explosion on our bed covers in the middle of the night so don't fancy having to because we keep all of our bed sheets and Lucas's bed sheets in like in like their wardrobe because we haven't got the storage space. So I wanted something that I could just easily pick up. So for six pounds, I saw this, and obviously I'm in love with the clouds and the rainbow things for her, because of her name. So when I saw that this had like the rain and the clouds, and the, and it was so pink, and it was only six pounds, so obviously we got it for five pounds 40, with the discount, but either, either way, six pounds is a bargain. But I just thought it would be really nice to slip underneath the snails pod, and just to come out and then when she moves into here we just bring that in with us and swap the one that's in here um, because I wanted something that sort of was a little bit more hers and a little bit more special so I don't want to have everything of hand-me-downs from Lucas 
because obviously we have saved some of his best boyish clothes for her as well. As well as some of the boyish clothes because we don't gender stereotype in this family, which is a bit hard to believe when we're this pink. And the final thing we got from Mother Care was our snuzz pod sheets. Um, I will insert a picture just like here or here, that I can't tell where it would be easiest to, to put the picture of the snuzz pod that we chose. We chose it in a new colour. Um, there's the natural colour, the white colour, the dove grey colour. Um, there's also three new ranges that have just come out. And one is like a, like a pastel yellow and one is sort of like a khaki sort of grey colour but we got it in the pinky purple colour in certain lights it looks purple some certain lights it looks pinky um, and in certain lights it also looks grey so we were, when I saw that had gone on sale at the end of last month the day before payday it was pre-order only and I just I, we knew we were going to be buying the snuzz pod anyway so we just purchased it there and then <laughs> via paypal so when it would come up my account the next day it was ready to go so we that's the colour we purchased um, but we decided to go for the snuzz pod sheets as well instead of just getting cot bed sheets because I always like the fact you get a crown blanket thing with them as well so I loved every single snuzz pod sheet design that is I love the cactuses I think they are so so cute the other one is the stars and the grey and the yellow which is so cute as well but obviously because of the snuzz pod colour we went for we decided to go for the gir the girly pattern, which is the little tweets range. So I've just taken the lid off the box. So these two here are cot sheets. If you didn't haven't seen them before, they're like the crib sheets. And then this is a blanket that is also a pram blanket. So when she's out of the snuzz pod, she can still have this blanket, which I really liked because buying these two on their own were eighteen pounds, and then that was something like twenty two. So I think you only save about like for, I'm not very great at maths, like £4 or something by buying it in this set but you can't go wrong when you get your blanket as well so so we've obviously got the snuzz pod blanket because being a winter baby we need we needed blankets and then we've got the sheets as well I just think it makes the snuzz pod look really special and I think if you're spending £200 on a snuzz pod if you can afford to do it you might as well get the snuzz pod sheets to go with it to match your make it look really lovely but obviously it's a lot of money to pay out um, but we never did that with Luke because we used a Moses basket and he grew out of it so so quickly and obviously with her not being able to come in here um, before six months especially because we're going to be up doing the night fees it's not they, they suggest you don't because it's not safe and I don't know how Lucas is going to take to her being in here so I want her to sort of be able to handle her own a little bit like pushy wise and stuff I don't think he's going to be a problem because he's pretty good but I want to make sure that she's at least sleeping better and not having like three hourly feeds because all this is going to do is disrupt Lucas. But also the cot, which when, when Lucas came out the Moses basket at two months because he was just so long and he every time he, he would just hit the sides and wake up, um, I knew that we need, he needed to go into a cot. So he obviously went into the cot but the cot fitted in our bedroom because we only had a one bedroom flat. Whereas now that's not going to fit in our bedroom because they have the bigger room. So... We had to buy something that was going to last, and it was between Chico next to me, which these also fit, um, and the snuzz pod, and I preferred the look of the snuzz pod, I think it looks really classic, and I think it's £50 difference, and I just thought for the sake of £50 I want to get the one that we liked the most, because I, like I don't like the Chico next to me, I just prefer the look of the snuzz pod. So I'm excited to sort of be able to set it up, but I'm really holding off at the moment because I don't want to jinx anything <laughs> by putting the sheets on for too, too, too soon. And I also don't really want to have to keep re-washing them by once they start getting dusty. I haven't even taken the um, packaging off of the mattress for the snuzz pod yet either. So thank you for watching. That is our haul. Um, we do have like other clothes and things, but I'm sort of holding out so I don't want to over clothes things because towards the end of my pregnancy I'll do like a big clothes haul because we're going to be doing we're waiting more till autumn to do um the clothes as soon as the summer sale hits in and the autumn clothes come in that's when i'm going to go shopping for clothes so i'll do that all then so thank you for watching i will see you next week with another video um if you haven't already subscribe to my channel i'd love it and you can sort of follow me along my pregnancy um, i'm now 24 weeks um and yeah so thank you for watching and i'll see you next week Bye.